Okay. So yesterday you have already learned um, how to represent your I using uh, in alternating current using equation sine and cos. Okay. This is this one. And also your voltage instantaneous voltage for the AC circuit by using sine and cos equation. So this is for alternating current to represent the alternating current. So why that is a sine and cos equation? Because due to the phaser that lead or in phase. So it depends on the type of circuit in your AC current. Okay, so we will learn a few types of circuit, AC current circuit. Um, each different type of circuit will have different uh, equation to represent your I and V. Okay, it will depend on which one the wave front generate from the phaser diagram. Okay, so the First one, we will learn about the AC current through only resistor. Means a pure resistor, AC current circuit. Okay, only resistor. Okay, which is only connected to a resistor through the AC circuit. AC current circuit. Okay, the second one is your AC circuit through inductor. So I believe you know what is inductor. Inductor is a, a device that induce have self induction. It mean it will induce the EMF by its own. Okay. So it's a type of coil. Usually it's a type of coil. So it's a pure inductor. Okay, it's different with pure resistor. So next one is for capacitor AC through capacitor so for AC through capacitor means the circuit connected only to the capacitor so these three will have different uh, wavefront generate from the phaser diagram so it will depend on the situation so which, uh, whether it's a uh, current leading the voltage or the voltage leading the currents. So of course there is a combination between, okay, some is the combination between the resistor and con uh, inductor which we call it as RL circuit. Uh, and then we will learn RC circuit. And in the end of this chapter, we will combine the three circuit, which is RCL circuit. So today I will discuss about these two circuit, which is your pure resistor and pure inductor circuit. Okay. So now, this is the AC through a pure resistor. So the diagram is only for a resistor and connected to the power supply which is your AC voltage okay so through this one so let's say we have V equal to V naught sine omega t okay so if we provided the voltage the resistor is in V equal to V naught sine omega t then by using Ohm's law, we know that the voltage flow through the resistor will be equal to IR. Okay, since the instantaneous voltage across the pure resistor is equal to V naught sine omega t, so we have this one. Okay, so V become V naught 
sign omega 3. What? This is the V across the breast system. So in other words, your I will be equal to V0 per R sine omega t. So if you look at this one, V0 per R is actually your I0, which is your maximal I0. So I will be equal to I0 sine omega t. So in other words, for a pure resistor, AC current through a pure resistor, the circuit is pure resistor. You have V is equal to V0 sine omega t and I equal to I0 sine omega t. And you will ask, can I use start with V is equal to V0 cos omega t? V is equal to V cos omega t. So why you don't why I didn't start with V cos omega t? Okay, of course you can start with V not cos omega t. So it depends on the questions or on the AC circuit trait. The wavefront provided to you is actually sine or cos. If the wavefront that produced is starting for V not cos omega t, so we can still using V not cos omega t. So for this one, when V not cos omega t, so your V across your resistor is still using Ohm's law. So your V is equal to IR. So in other words, V across uh, the pair resistor will be equal to V0 cos omega t equal to IR. Okay, we arrange this equation so we will get V0 per R cos omega t. So this is actually I0. So in other words, when your V provided by the circuit is V0 cos omega t, then your I will be equal to I0 cos omega t. So what is this tell you? Why when it provided V equal to V0 sine omega t, the I will be I0 sine omega t. And why V0 your V is equal to V0 cos omega t and I is equal to I0 cos omega t. So this gives you the meaning that for an alternating current through a pure resistance will produce I and V in phase. Huh? This actually gave you the meaning that for an alternating current through a pure resistor will have I and V in phase means your vector I and your vector V will be in phase. So in other words, for this one, you have your graph like this. If this is your V, this is your I. They are in phase. Both are sine equation. So your facial diagram, if you look at your textbook so your facial diagram will have this so this is your V and this is your I okay. you look at your textbook okay. so you will have this type of graph of course if you start with cos if the voltage provided by the surface is actually V not cos the omega t then your graph will be the cos graph cosine graph which is this one so it actually depends on the wavefront of your voltage. Okay, so it will become this. For I. So this one is I, this one is V. This one is V, this one is A. So this is T times square T times Okay, so this gives you the meaning of they are in phase. So it's either one you can choose. If the question cites you to start from sine equation, then you start from sine equation. If you are starting from cos equation, then you start from cos equation. Of course, you can derive your representation, your equation of your voltage and current 
with the start of current i equal to i naught omega t or i equal to i naught cos omega t you just work backward like this okay so it depends on the questions okay if you look at this so we know that they are in phase so in other words because for AC current, it's important to know that what is your IRMS and VIMS. So it's still I RMS is equal to I naught square root of 2. And VRMS is equal to V naught square root of 2. So in other words, your VRMS will be equal to IRMS R. So this you have to remember okay so for the pure resistor so you have to remember that i and v are in phase okay i and v are in phase so um i want you to so listener i want you to derive the v equal to v not sine omega t from I equal to I naught sine omega t. So means you find your V by using this one. So you derive this uh, backwards. So I want you to derive this one. And show me your answer in your WhatsApp. Okay? So for this pure resistor, there is a power pass through it, uh, generate. Okay, so how do you calculate the instantaneous power of this AC circuit through a pure resistor? So for an instantaneous power, so we know that P is equal to VI. For any type of circuit so when p is equal to vi so we know that when v is equal to v naught sine omega t then your i will be equal to i naught sine omega t so if you want to use cos omega t then you use cos omega t for both for both equations so we start from sine omega t so p is equal to vi so your v will be represented by v naught sine omega t well, your I will be represented with I naught sine omega t. Okay, simplify this one. You will get your instantaneous power. P, which is equal to V naught I naught sine square omega t. So this is the first thing you have to remember for your instantaneous power. So how do you calculate your maximum power? So maximum power provide through this circuit is when your sine square oh my god t equal to 1. So when this one equal to 1, then your p will be maximum. So your p maximum will be equal to b naught i naught because this one equal to 1. So your p maximum will be equal to v naught. I not. So we know that V not is equal to V R M S times square root of two, and I not is equal to I R M S times square root of two. So when V not times I not, so we have that R M S times square root of two. So this will be square together so we will get so in other words your maximum power is actually 2V RMS I RMS okay so if you look at your textbook for the graph to represent your power time graph which is this one so you look at this so you will notice that for power through uh, AC circuit for pure resistor the 
power is always positive value. Okay, the power is always positive value. So this I already uh, explained. So I want you to do it your own to derive this two. Okay, and then mean power. So what is mean power? So mean power means the average power of your circuit. Now, but the word, some of the questions were asked mean power, some of the questions were noted as average power. So for average power, it's actually your mean value for your P. So how do you calculate your mean value for your P? So this equation will be written as this way. Since V0 and I0 is a constant, so it will be written as this one. So from the previous lesson, so you know that sine square omega t is the integrations of your 0 to pi, 1 per pi, sine square theta, d theta. So I won't explain this one. So this one you will get 1 per 2. So in other words, your mean power will be equal to V0, I0 per 2. Okay? So this is your mean power for your AC through pure resistor. So mean power at here is actually, is also called the rate of heat dissipations in the resistor. Yeah? Okay, so for this AC true resistor is until here, but I want you to look at your textbook for this one. So please understand it is actually developed from the equations of uh, the combination of your V0 equal to I, uh, I0 R sometimes as your V0 equal to V RMS square root of 2 or your I0 is equal to I RMS square root of 2. So based on this, you will come up with this equation. Okay, of course, uh, you have your VRMS is equal to IRMS R. Okay, so from these four equations and the equation that you learn from here, so you will get all this. Okay, so I have finished your AC through a pure resistor. So this is your homework. Please complete 18.3 exercise. Uh, remember to complete all the exercise.